Hello everybody, Brios here and today's short video is a video to dispel the myth that minimum range is affected by other things like the skill tree, TCOM, sensor probe, I don't know, something affects minimum range and actually boosts the minimum range and actually that is totally false and I'm going to prove it to you today and I'm going to use this guy here, hello Mr. Sumner, step back a bit so we can see you to prove it to you using ATMs. ATMs have a minimum range of 120 meters. So below 120 meters, 120 and below actually, it does zero damage. And there are cases where some people like this, they'll say, hey, I'm like 122 meters away from the Atlas and they do no damage. So they do believe other factors like the skill tree actually boost the minimum range. And that is, like I said earlier, false. But they will take short videos, they will take screenshots like this to show that hey even though the target is 122 meters away from me this atlas i am still doing no damage as i demonstrate to you here and let me tell you why there is a discrepancy between the range shown 122 meters and the minimum range of your atms the reason is because the hud distance is calculated from your sensors which i assume is in a cockpit here to the target so 120 2 meters as I shown to you on the HUD is from the cockpit to the target but the actual minimum range is actually calculated from the launcher here to the target as you can see this nice angle here so if you look at the cockpit and the weapon system the arm missiles are further forward than the cockpit so even though the cockpit is 122 meters away from the target the arm missiles are nearer so still within minimum range doing absolutely no damage and even the torso mounted ATMs here I have three in the right torso let me get the angle right again there it is and if I fire them I am doing no damage because these are slightly forward from the sensors so that is why the misconception appears and to prove it to you um, launcher distance and sensor distance to target are different. I'm going to show you that in this particular bag, the summoner, the arms are really far forward. So there might come a point in time where the arms, the arm launchers are within the minimum range and the torso launchers here are out of minimum range. Because as you can see here, the torso mounted weapons are a bit further back. So to prove it to you, like right now, one to two meters, no damage by all, by about one to five meters, my arm launches are still doing no damage. My four ATMs are doing zero. But my torsos being further away should be able to do some damage. There it is. Two other launchers doing damage. 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 Da no damage. 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 Yep. Show you that again. Arms. Two, three, four. Arms one. Arm two. Arm three. Arm four. No damage because they're further forward in the minimum range. And the torso mounted three ATM trees. First one does damage. Second one does damage. Third one. Sometimes there's a desync. Third one does damage. So yep, ladies and gents, that proves to you that the reason for the desync between the sensor distance of one to five meters and minimum range is because sensor distance on your HUD is from sensor to target well minimum range actual minimum range is calculated from your ATMs or your weapon system to the target and due to the difference in geometry of the mech um, there is a desync of a few meters so that is it ladies and gents so I hope you enjoyed this demonstration and yeah don't don't bring this ATM summoner please it's a heresy just using it for this demo so anyway I hope you enjoyed this video and Please remember, ATM minimum range or any minimum range like LRMs is not affected by skill 3. So until next time guys, have a good day and I'll see you guys around. Ciao and goodbye summoner. Fly!